In this demo, we're going to show how to add a custom background to our Javi Studio application and also how to add custom JavaFX code to our Javi Studio application. So with Java Inventor launched, I'll go ahead and create a new project and I'll just call it My Studio and I'll select the Javi Studio application type and click OK. And this creates our new project and I'll just click Open. And so this opens our new empty project with a blank scene. So I'll start by adding a couple of actors. So I'll say add actor and I'll select the cat and I'll just move it off to the left here. And I'll add another actor and I'll choose Duke and I'll move Duke up into the center here. And uh, so now I want to add my custom background. So I'll do this by going to the, in, uh, up here to the actors, uh, Javi Studio actors view. I'll switch this over to the traditional Java Inventor project view, and I'll just click Add New File. And I want a JavaFX graphics and UI file, so I'll click OK. And I just need to name this the same as our scene class. So I'll call it Scene1, and it becomes Scene1.jfx. And I get a blank scene here, so I'll just go ahead and say Show in Editor. And the first thing I'll do is make this scene a little smaller. So I'll just make it 700 by 400. And then I'll choose the pencil tool and I'll go ahead and draw in some rolling hills. And then I'll close this polygon off. And I'll go ahead and choose a shade of green for that. And then below that, I will make uh, a rectangle for some ground. And uh, I'll just choose brown for that. Uh, and then we could also uh, draw some clouds. I can just draw a circle and copy and paste it here. And uh, then I'll select all of these circles and I'll say combine paths. And then for that, I will choose a nice cloud co color. And maybe we'll put in the sun over here. We'll just draw an oval and make that yellow. So that's our background. So I'll go ahead and say save. And then I'll switch back to the Javi Studio view, and I'll go ahead and do a refresh, and it'll load our background in here. So now we can position our characters on our background, and, uh, and then we can go ahead and add some code to them. So I'll select the cat, and for the cat, I just, I'll have it just move uh, each time through the act loop. And then for Duke, I will have him just turn each time. And so I'll go back to the scene and I'll click play and it'll launch our application. And so here's our scene with our cat running by and then with Duke spinning around in the top. So that's adding a custom background. So now I wanna add some custom JavaFX code. So I will come back into the projects view and I'll choose the cat. And then in the cat, in the main method, uh, I will go ahead and say, uh, I'll get the UI for the cat, and this returns a JavaFX node, and then for that, I'll say set effect, and uh, for the effect, I'll type in new drop shadow, choose a JavaFX uh, drops shadow. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for Duke as well. Get UI, set effect, new drop shadow, and uh, so with that, we've, we've added our custom JavaFX code. So I'll go back to the actor view again, and I'll hit play, and it'll launch our program. And so now when they come up, we see that the cat has a drop shadow and Duke has a drop shadow. And uh, that is our demo of adding a custom background and custom JavaFX code to our Javi Studio application.